Hello, my name's Mike, and uh, this is my video for my Mount Whitney attempt of 2024. Here we are cooking my impossible burger. Look, it even looks like it has little chunks of stuff in it, like real hamburger. Living in luxury tonight, man. <laughs> we got portable batteries, we got multiple stoves, pots, pans, fresh organic strawberries that Rod graciously brought. What a dude. Oh man, they're so good. Yeah, these are the best strawberries. P and K Farms. P and K Farms? You can find P them in the Bay Area, Monterey Bay Area farmers markets. Barbecue sauce for my fake burger. You should try some. There. There's a probably a little bit of barbecue sauce, so it's kind of cheating. I mean. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, that's tasty. Watch this. Dude. Look at that. You see that? Mmm. Strawberries. Grapes. Cookies. Look at this guy, man. Dude, <laughs> he has so much food. It's morning, Thursday. Cooking uh, some eggs and a sausage here. I don't know what we're going to do today, just hang out and eat, maybe go for a short hike. Dun, dun, dun. You're going to see in this video that making this climb is a really big deal to me and I thought I'd explain that for a second. So last year, when Matt suggested I climb Mount Whitney with him, I thought there's no way I can do it. I'm a hiker, I go maybe a thousand feet at a time. Then I started thinking, hey, let's see what I can do, you know, I've been getting my health back in order. I lost 25 pounds. So when this hike came up in 2023, I took it really serious. I trained really hard. I went to the gym. I hiked all the time. I ate good food. I prepared for this hike. Today's Thursday. We're just going on a nature hike. I want to show Rod some of this because we're going to be hiking up this at night on Saturday. You wouldn't even know this was here. Here's Rod crossing our first real water crossing. Then when we finally went last year, we ran into bad weather, snow. We went back two weeks later to try again, and we ended up rescuing a hiker. We sat up there all night with her and these other two people, kept them warm, hydrated, and called in a helicopter. We carried her over a mile down very rugged terrain to get her where a helicopter could land. So after a lot of hard work and two attempts, I was not able to summit Mount Whitney last year. Yeah, it's better to just get moving. Oh, twinkle toes. It's so cool. <laughs> Woohoo! So this year I plan to do it again. Yes, this climb means a lot to me. It's the most difficult thing I've ever done and I worked harder for this than I've ever worked for anything in my life. <laughs> There he goes. Stealth man going, sneaking up on the fish, keeping his shadow out of the water. Rod caught himself a fish just now. I had my camera off. I thought it was on. And I'm just sitting here, resting my legs a little bit. We hiked up to 10,000 feet here to Lone Pine Lake. Just resting. Enjoying the view. Beautiful day. Rod's cool sausage, uh, hot actually, pretty spicy and pasta and Alfredo. All right, we hiked in. Down at that parking lot, we got a little hike-in camp spot here, or Rod did, so we could sit up his tent and take a nap today. I got my van, so I can sleep wherever I want. But I parked down next to him, and i uh, going to kick it here for a while. I think my cousin Michelle's going to come up, and uh, Jim Lowe's supposed to show up later today. And uh, So we got a little meeting spot here. Hard to believe I'm going to start a major major hike at one o'clock in the morning 
Well, it's not the first time. It'll be my third attempt at Whitney. For those of the, I don't know if I mentioned this yet, so the first attempt, we got snowed out, me and Matt. We came up two weeks later to do it again. Really good weather, really cold, but good weather. And um, we ended up helping some hikers in distress, called a helicopter out, and spent nine hours uh, helping them, trying to keep them warm and safe up on the mountain. And uh, so we didn't summit that day either. So this is my third time here in just a little less than a year. And uh, getting to the top this time. Just like don't carry any stuff and you know. Really? Don't carry water, like. So, oh man. It's crazy. Beginner. Brand, to, like, brand uh, new beginner hike. Don't care. Rainier and they think, oh, it's a national park, you know, no big deal. I know how long I've known somebody based on what they call me. So your okay. old friends called you Misha. Misha. Yeah, well, my yeah, name but, is. But that's a new friends. No, no. New friends call me Misha. <laughs> Misha, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. My name is, real name is Michelle. I remember when you were born. I mean, I, I, I was saying the other day. <laughs> Hey, what's up? We're about half an hour or so from starting our hike. Um, I'm sitting here at the near the trailhead here in my van, just getting my stuff together, trying to make my backpack as light as I can. We got Jim Lowe here. We got uh, Rodney Tao here. We've got my cousin, her friends, Catra's here or on her way here. Matt's on his way here with his crew. Uh, we got I think 12 people all together. I'll mention their names later. <laughs> right now, I'm just kind of anxious to get going. Here we are, big day. John made it. Look at that. This is Finally. Our, this is our double wide Airbnb. There's the princess. There's our cool little Airbnb in a trailer park. Packs are ready, food's ready. We're ready to climb this mountain. Hey, we found brother Mike. Mike, what's up, man? All right, third time's a charm, baby. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Yes, we are. Ready to do it? I'm ready again. Yeah, Look at this group. Oh, right in your eyes. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's even Just take out the. You want me to grab right now? Yeah, go grab it now. Oh, I see it. We go to the bathroom real quick. Okay, we'll be here. Okay, let's set up for the picture. Where do you want to do it? Next to the sign? How many people we got? One. Everybody got a wag bag? Grab them. They're right up there. There's lots of bags. Ten okay. of us here. There's ten? Yeah. Remember, Matt's carrying the wag bags, like I said. No. No, the last guy down the mountain. Thank you, Matt. You can carry my extra water too. What do you got? 18? 20? Yeah, 18. All right. That way's not bad. I don't even want to know, but I know it's less. Yeah, I don't even know. All right, everybody got a bag? Everybody got a poop bag? John, you going to carry my poop bag? Yeah. That's a, that's a sign of a real friend. Yeah. We'll see. All right, here we go. Look at this crew. This is awesome. Crossing one, Michael. Get it dry this time. Looking hey. good, mates. Looking good. Did Jim keep going? Or he going? Yeah, he just took off. There goes Matt. If you're going to fall, that's the place to do it. But this is fun. It's like Mario Brothers. We're all dry.
<laughs> Entering the Whitney zone again. <laughs> Let's go, Rod. Let's do it. Oh shit, yeah, look at all these rocks now. This was like five rocks before. You threw all these rocks in here so we could cross with up with her carrying her. <laughs> up we go. Trail. Now we got some switchbacks in front of us. Yeah, here we are, back to the spot where we found those people last year, October 14th. Yeah, this was the spot. We found the disabled hiker. Yep, they were they were laying right here on the... We came over like, I wonder if those are those people, it must be... This is where we spent six and a half hours in the wind. Wind was blowing right oh. in our faces this time. We were trying to put rocks up for a barrier. It was gnarly. Dude, that's a long way from down there. I didn't realize it was a, <laughs> that was a hell of a long, <laughs> long hike to carry her down there. A long way down. Well, that's the farthest I made it last time I was here. Not the first time. I think I'm doing better this time. I was doing good last time. Yeah, have you heard from Christina or anybody, Matt? No. I haven't even checked mine. Check mine here. It's probably just motoring. They're so steep. Are the switchbacks like this or are they smoother? Or kind of a mix? I might even tell you. Okay. <laughs> it's just demoralizing because you, you get up one and you get up another and you think, oh, I'm done. And then you wake up and you're like, That's how it's been the whole way. What do you mean? Hi, it's Mike. We're over 11,000 feet now. We got about a mile to go to trail camp. Taking a break here. It's just brutal rocks and uh, it's getting steeper, but I know how far we have to go to get to trail camp. And I, so I figured I'd take a break, but uh, doing good, feeling good. How you doing, Rod? Pretty good, hanging in there. We're doing it, man. We're going up it pretty good, I think. Making good time. Every step's tricky. Trail camp, and I'm really tired. There's the switchbacks right in front of me. That is insanely brutal looking. Yes, it is. Almost to the top. This isn't my normal video technique. I have nothing to say. I'm like so tired, I'm like, F the camera, you know? <laughs> <sighs> Made it to trail camp and it's daylight now. Uh, whatever, wherever, wherever, yeah. Is this, uh, 
Oh, yeah. That looks cool. Should be in the sun shortly. That looks really cool. Okay, this is it. We're going up the 99 switchbacks, and this is going to be fucking brutal. This is what I came here for. Why, I don't know. But here we are. We'll follow these crazy people up this mountain. And then up to that point right up there. How you doing, Rod? Dude, that's a great shot of you with the, with the golden hour. Boring golden hour. Oh, man. Oh, beautiful. This is awesome, man. Six. We're doing it, brother. We're doing it. You're doing awesome, Mike. Get emotional there for a second. Oh my god, dude, I'm I can't believe it. God, this is amazing, man. Oh, it's just a little, uh, uh, no, it's a freaking thermometer. I just, uh, I bought it already one day. Just, I don't know. Eight or this is seven. This is eight, right? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go back 79. Yeah. This is eight. I nominate you to go back and count. And yeah, yeah, yeah. This is eight, so it's Yeah. You're doing good. I feel You're awesome good. right now, man. I feel, I feel great because... Caffeine pills. I'm here. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'm all. And you're you, you're higher than you've ever been. You're twelve thousand hundred feet. I'm happy, dude. I feel, yeah. I feel like I could cry almost. I'm like, it's like I can't believe I'm here. Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> so. Get up it. And it's all you gotta concentrate is on that next switch. I don't look up. I mean, I'm trying. To, I'm just looking at feet and then looking out there and. Look. This is easier so far than the last two miles were shit. Well, maybe it won't be all the way up, but. This is cool. How you doing, cuz? <laughs> so we're gonna end up way over there, right? Up, up that ramp, you yeah. see that smooth part. You see that little window right there? That's the first one, right before Trail Crest. You can look through that. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to end up right where the, that last spire is on the left. Oh, is that snow? Oh, yeah. yeah it's ice. Dude, I haven't seen snow in years. <laughs> I want to get snow angles right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that the shoe? <laughs> Woohoo! 
and I'm motivated now, man. That's part of it too. Yeah, maybe it's the caffeine, but I mean, I, I just feel, I feel good. I feel it, man. There's no turning back now. This place is, oh, that's Consultation Lake right there. Okay. Never actually seen it before, right? <laughs> On the other side, it's cool. You get to see guitar lights. It looks like a fucking guitar. Oh my god, I can't wait. Oh, take a sip of water, everybody. <laughs> a good idea. Ah. How's it going, cuz? <laughs> that is so cool. Very cool. That's amazing. We're all gonna make it, man. We are all gonna make it. Made to the cable section. I think the first time seen it without ice or snow. Oh yeah, this is nice. Catch Mike coming up. And the rest of the crew. The infamous cable section. No ice, so it should be no sweat. Mike coming up the cable section. Ooh, look at that. First time through the cables, Michael. One of many. That's the steepest part of the switchback so far. <sighs> How you feeling, Michael? Looking good. Tamir, how you feeling? Looking good. Easy piece. Cousin Misha, looking good. Rod, right, Rod. Christina and John. Looking good, John. Good. Up the cables, baby. No ice. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> good job, crew. Keep it in the shade for a second. Dude, we are all, we're all doing good, man. I, you know, it seems like a lot of groups, not everybody makes it when I read or whatever. And yeah. I mean, I've seen people half my age and way better shape, but they just have, yeah. I mean, some people just might not know what to expect. Yeah. Like if I, if I didn't have Matt with me or, you know, like someone yeah. experienced. Hiking shape and other shape. Yeah. Is, there's different in shapes. Yeah. Like if you tried to go do yoga, you could be like an awesome hiker. Yeah. You totally suck at yoga. Yeah. Whatever. Ontario. You could don't fail me now. <laughs> yeah. 
That was the fun part. Sheesh. Damn. Cool view with. Whoa! Don't. Okay, you're good. I got a cool video, view walking up to. Oh, there's a marmot. Yeah, that's what I said. It's a marmot. Oh, I didn't hear. Hey, marmot. It's a marmot. God's country. This is a. Amazing. How high we are, Jesus. Well, yeah, do you have any idea what our altitude? Yeah, I do. 13 yet? You can yet? ask me or you can ask John. Yeah. John will give you <laughs> much more. Whatever's money. higher. 13,450. Really? 56. Ooh. We're getting close. Yeah, we are now. <sighs> What's up, man? Thank you. Look at these guys. I don't mind another couple yeah, seconds. Five, wow. You guys going up with me? Oh, yeah. Have fun. Thank you. 13,5. Holy shit. A thousand feet more. You got it, Mike. <laughs> What's your middle name, Mike? David. Oh, that's right. How do I not know? That's my dad's name. I don't know, Matthew John. Because <laughs> I've heard your mom say it so many times. Matthew John! Yeah, but she's never yelled at you, Michael David. No. She did, it's like this, Mike, Matt, Mike, Mike, whatever, you couldn't figure out which one we were. The All the M's. So she get pissed off and went, Mike, Matt, uh, Mark, Matt, Mark, oh, she, she oh, forgot her name. She didn't know who she was yelling at. <laughs> I heard Matthew John, I knew I wasn't getting my car back for a week. Remember the exploding cigarette? Oh, yeah. First thing she said was, Matthew! She, I, was sit, I was sitting between your mom and my dad on the couch downstairs and, Pow! And I was like, oh my god, that was because it just blew up like this, like a cartoon. <laughs> and I was like, fuck. Like those ones you throw on the ground, you know? Yeah, the snap caps. Of course, dad got pissed, you know, he had to defend. And I was like, try, I think I might have laughed, I don't remember, but. Matthew! Uh, yeah, that was a smart move on our part to do that to the person that makes our dinner. My dad bought those, they were his. No. And then grandpa confiscated them. He got them in Mexico when he was a teenager, you know, high school or whatever. Yeah. Tijuana. He's all, those were mine. I that's I'm also your fault. <sighs> uh, we are still going up the switchbacks. It's been a long time, but this is not the hardest part of the hike for me. This first three quarters of the switchbacks are pretty easy. Oh, thanks, guys. All right. Michael David Massey making it to Trail Crest. Put that up to 99 switchbacks. Crushed it, baby. Crushed it. All the way down there. John and I bringing up the rear. Go for it, Christina. Scooting fast. Look at that. Trail crest, baby. Woo! We could have used one more switchback. All right. Take a little break here, get some food. Man, this oxygen level. Get a little. Let's get down by the sign. Get a little food before we traverse across. Here we are. Look at that view. Holy sh. <sighs> Give Rod some room. Wow. Look at that. All right, let's stop at 15. We'll get eat, get our legs nice and rested before we cross because it gets a little exposed here. I just want to get a picture of the sign with you guys. Dude, I don't believe it. Made it up there, Mike. Look at that trail crest. 
Good job, boys. All right. Internet Square National Park. All right, we're gonna get some deep. Make it open. What are we? Thirteen something? Let's see. Thirteen six. God, that feels amazing. It is. Thirteen thousand six hundred feet. This is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. He <laughs> says you'd eat something. Hey bud, looking for food, huh? That's all. How'd you get way up here? I got no words. <laughs> I always have something to say on my camera, but they don't right now. All right. Hugging the wall. At least the wind's blowing us towards the wall. <laughs> Dude. Alright, mom, don't watch this part of the video. <laughs> I think I'm gonna. I don't know if I want to use my poles here. That's just fine. Woo, look at that. Dude. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, it's getting worse. It's worse than this. Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy shit, this is scary. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Look at that. I think I prefer you in the back. I don't like the commentary. <laughs> you know what? Unlike you guys, I'm not going to do this 28 times. I'm going to do it twi twice, the first time and the last time. <laughs> That is straight down. That's straight down right there, Mom. Don't watch. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is beautiful. 
Holy shit. Oh, it's just like Castle Rock, it's up to like thousands and thousands of feet higher. This is not scary at all. Get shots of everything. <laughs> I haven't seen Catcher come down, I'm surprised. Or whoever's up there, Jim or. Oh. Ooh, look out here. That's Guitar Lake right there, isn't it? Oh, that's cool. Stream danger from lightning. All right. Careful with your food in here. I don't want to go too fast, I know it's going to get hard up here. Hi. 
<laughs> Amazing. Oh my god. Dude, that is a fuck. Uh. All right, go for it. It's a good shot right here. We gotta get at least there by 11. Right on that pious peak over there, you can see the roof. I can see people up there. Yeah. I'm getting all my first time ducklings up. Look at my brother, he's killing it. Look at those legs. No, you're not feeling good? Yeah, I haven't slept is the problem. Oh, uh, yeah. I will never do this again not sleeping. Yeah, that's I thought, cool. oh, no big deal. You know, it's like uh, doing a 200 miler and you don't sleep. Yeah. Oh, no. I, I can't eat. Uh, good to see you, Christina. <laughs> you are Matt. Matt, yeah. Good to see you. Good job. Hey, you we are today? almost there. Good. We are almost yeah. there. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Make it, our friend John and our friend Everybody's Tamir. There. Yeah, they are yeah. coming. We are almost there. Yeah. <laughs> almost there. <laughs> Finally, we get together. <laughs> we just got to 10 miles, so we get one more mile. 10.33. One more mile, you think? No, less than a mile. A little less. Less than a mile. Okay. Maybe 0.5. No. My look estimate. We're close. We're close. So close. Very close. Oh my god. We are all suffering now. This <laughs> 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 is good weather though. Yeah, it's nice weather. Yeah. What time is it? Do you Local know? Local breeze at 10:30. Oh. oh, this is off. 10:35. Oh. And we made it to pick 11:30. Well, we're hoping for 11. And you make epic to try make by seven or eight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't accept that, but it's gonna be the real thing. <laughs> I don't like it. I just wanna to get to the top, man. And yeah. Whatever happens after that, I don't know. Oh, okay. Pisha, now your turn. You go ahead and <laughs> I know you wanna see my ass. Yes, you should go. Oh, well, we gotta look at somebody's. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well be brown, guys. Uh. <sighs> 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 Just 
about nine hours and 50 minutes. Made the summit. Quite a bit slower than expected, but we're getting all the first timers up. We're making that happen. They're all behind me. I wanted to get up early so I could turn around and take some video of them. We're gonna see Mike make it, John make it, Christina make it for the third time when she said she'd never do it again. I made it. Misha Bronco made it. I made it. Woo! Good job. This home, whatever, finish line. Oh God. Way to go, Misha. Woo! What a day! What a climb! Great job! Gorgeous! You made it! Congratulations! Yeah. All, right. All right! All right! Thank you! Good job! How's it feel? Awesome! It's beautiful! All right! Misha, sign! You made it! That's a sign! That's a sign! That's a register! You must register in the book if there's room. Brother, Michael David Massey making it up the tallest mountain in the contiguous United States. 14,505, baby. How you feeling? Good. So goddamn proud of you, Mike. Great job. Way to go, brother. <laughs> Thank you. All right. <laughs> I gotta get up to the very top. Oh, we're almost there. Misha's up there resting. I'm gonna get a video of everybody coming. Yeah. Great job, brother. Thank you. Woo! Who would have thought two years ago this is what you'd be doing? Wow, you've come a long way, man. I can't believe you made it. You made it. Dude, you have come a long way. <sighs> made it, man. You made it. Great job, guys. Man, I'm glad you're here, too, bro. Oh. Uh, <laughs> come on up come on up thank you man come on up everything hey man thank you everybody you ins you inspire me to keep doing it mike inspire me to keep doing it i just drop our stuff there mike and we'll hike up yeah at least if you made it to the all right all right let's see he's bringing it all the way to the top i'm following him he wants to make it to the tip. Make it to the geological time. Get up there. Woo! God dang it, Mike. Look at that. Put those arms up. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Great job, Mike. Let's take a picture together. Come over here. I can't believe it, man. Good job, Rod. Good job, dude. <laughs> nice going, my brother. My new brother. <laughs> dude, after doing this, dude. <sighs> First try, even, man. Good job, man. Yeah, dude. You did something big today. <laughs> right on, dude. <sighs> oh, good job, brother. Oh, brother's head. How the hell do you get off of this thing? <laughs> <laughs> I want to let you get up here. Yeah, I'll just wait for you guys to get down so I can take a look. Okay. We got to do the sign now, uh, Rod. Oh, there's the... Yeah. Oh, there's another one. You ready? There's a marker right there. Oh, 
Portrait, okay, this one is a portrait. Right. Top of the world, baby. Zoom down. Okay. Yeah, you too. Look at that shit. There he is. Look at that view, man. That was the most awesome thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> you picture with the sign there. Everyone in our group made it up. Okay. Oh, it's heavy. Okay. Oh, okay. And portico. Battery's getting low, so. Okay. Ready? One. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. I think I got it. It makes all bigger. Okay, bigger. One, two, three. Whoa. All right, I just so want more Everybody, everybody take backwards. picture like that. Mount Whitney. That's a nice picture, yeah. That, that's, that's nice. All right, over your head. That's nice. Yeah, baby. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Finally, man. Right. Hell yeah. There you go, Thank Mike. You. Look at that. Oh, it's sharp. Get your uh, sign down so you can see your... Yeah, there you go. I want to see your shirt. Yeah. There you, you go. Put it Straight. Is it straight? Yeah. I can't see your shirt though, honey. Huh? Your shirt's crooked, but that's alright. My shirt's crooked. Yeah. So, You're gonna have to work. Uh, there you go. All right. Good job, Matthew. Yeah. Alright. There you go. Glad we got to do this together, right. man. Small. Good job, Rod. Yeah, Whoa! Thanks a lot, Mike. You did it. It's been a long journey for you. Lost all that wow. way. Save those people. Finally got yours. Good job, you. guys. That's For awesome, you. dude. I'm glad you're here, too. Thanks. Glad you're here to do it, man. Could you do me a picture like, like this? Because yeah. I think this one is too small, so. Okay. Yeah, I think this one. <laughs> yeah. Sober water. <laughs> five years, baby. Or six years sober, but five years climbing. This is my fifth fifth summit. I gotta get John on my video, too. <laughs> so proud of you, Mike. You, too, brother. Seriously. Great job, buddy. Thank you. Oh, Hi, I would jump over there, but I think my legs are cold in half. We'll get you. <laughs> Is it? Seriously. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if anybody's ever fallen. Dude. All right, up high. Uh -huh. Up high. Went up high. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Yay! All right. Yeah, wait, yeah, that one nice job, right. John. <laughs> Way to go, man. We earned it. All right. Happy children. Yep, you did. Good job, John. She's <laughs> from Colorado. No, you're you are not. from. You are from Arizona. No. You are from Missouri. Missouri. You are from. I'm Arizona. Arizona. Colorado. Colorado. Ah, yeah. <laughs> what an awesome birthday. What an awesome birthday. <laughs> Memorable for sure. Yeah, he's a <laughs> memorable birthday party. Uh, Mount Whitney, climb Mount Whitney. Nice job, Taz. Thank you. You are so special. You are not, you are not normal. You are not a normal hiker. You are, you are like a crazy hiker. Crazy hiker. How can you hike, you know, climb the mountain? Okay. That's beautiful up here, man. Huh? Hmm? We'll go there with him. Okay.
I don't have any words. Thanks, Matt. That was hard, man. You know, you know where it is, and you're like, ah. Yeah. That was really fucking hard. Count, count. I didn't do stats for this trip. I had to do stats for this. I'm not going to lie. Way to go. Everybody up here on this hill is a badass. <laughs> you gotta be. Except me. I'm just normal. <laughs> <laughs> No. I don't want to toot my own horn, but all you guys. Oh. No, I'm a badass too. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, you are. How many people do this? This is a bucket list for a lot of hikers and they never get to do it. And I never even wanted to until, I never even thought about it until Matt came along and ugh, I'm not looking forward to hiking down those cliff and slanted rocks for the next hour, two hours. Yeah. The rest of it, I'm cool. Make sure you do three points of contact. Yeah, some of them I just use my I mean, leaned, but but uh, yeah. I didn't know what was gonna happen. I'm like, I'm out of shape. Yeah, we're so we still can't believe we actually did it, man. Whatever happens we didn't on the way We didn't have now. any issues. Uh, nothing. Perfect weather. Yeah, man. It's, we didn't even have that many breaks either. Not as many as we would. I would have. Well, probably. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would have taken more. Dude, the thing that surprised me the most was the switchbacks were one of the 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 instead for the final like. That's kind of fun, actually. <laughs> I know it was easy until we got to the top. I mean, it was easy, man. I was laying on a rock down a uh, trail camp, going, "I'm never gonna make it up there." Look how fucking high that is, and then a. Uh, and then we started walking. I'm like, that's it? Like, almost all the way up, it was easy. And then the last 15 switchbacks were got steep with steps. And uh, But I was, we were, I was cruising up there. Yeah. Not breathing hard. I was like, what? Yeah, we're just going to, we're all going at a pretty good pace. Well, someone will take a break and then we all kind of like pass each other, <laughs> kind of go at our own pace in a way, but everyone kind of. Yeah. Before trail camp and then. All these cliff ones with all the uneven rocks. That's going to be fun on the way down. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be brutal. Trail camp will be fine. I've done that before, but I've never done the... I'm more afraid of heights like when I'm in a car or somebody's driving because then I'm not in control, you know. Right. I'm like, what if the fucking wheel falls off? You know, it's like stupid stuff. What if... Like driving down from Whitney, I'm going to be like just putting. I'll probably be in the other lane. So what do you think about next year, Rod? You're funny again? Try to beat our speed record? Sure. Why not? Dude. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to say stuff. I'm just afraid I'm going to not be, be able to, you know? See everything. Hey, this is that guy's. Hey! Is this yours? GoPro? Oh, yeah! Woo! That's cool, I'll go to you. Don't worry, I'm going that way right now. Yeah, don't worry. Thank you, yeah, of course, dude. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course, dude. This is like. 
finally got to get up there and I, I would chill for that video or pay for that video back. God, you go, thank brother. you so much, man. Yeah, don't even sweat it, man. I appreciate it, man. Seriously, course, brother. Thank you so much. Let's do that. There we go. First time. Whoa! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Of course. Dude, okay. Are you recording the whole time? It wasn't now, but. Oh, okay. I could, if you want to be in my, we do YouTube videos, so, but I appreciate it, dude, really. Thank you so much. It is on, I don't know. What's it doing? Still hang down from Whitney. Still on the eastern side, so. Now going down the 99 switchbacks. I think it's about 1,700 feet. I don't remember. That's a long way down. As you can see, down to the lake on the left. Here we are, back to the cables. <laughs> there he goes. And some ice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, this is not your typical typical hiking trail, man. Potential to get injured is high if you're not prepared. Yeah. So trail camp and got six miles left to go and I don't think either of us really want to do it. So here we go. All right, Rod and I are headed out of trail camp. Pretty weary. My legs have seen about enough, I think, today. We got six miles still to go. We got to filter some water. It might be dark for the last couple miles, which is fine. Or, you know, whatever. I'd rather it wasn't, but. Let's see, it probably will be. It was awesome, it was hard, it was emotional, it was a relief. It was a lot of things, man. It was it was phenomenal. We're walking back down, just filtered some water, hopefully enough for the walk down. If not, we got plenty of options on the way. <sighs> Pretty worn out, but body's holding up. Back actually feels better, legs fine. Being careful though. I don't wanna get hurt six, five and a half miles out. Last year was a big slab of snow, like, it looks so awesome.
<laughs> we are back. Yeah, you get right back to free here. <sighs> Once I realized how easy the switchbacks were going for me, I really started to know that I was going to make it this year in Summit. Um, you know, I got emotional several times and I really had to choke back tears of just, it was just overwhelming. I didn't want to spend energy like crying or, you know, getting all into it. So I'd start feeling it and then I'd choke it back and just, it was just overwhelming, man. After all this time, the past year and a half of training and disappointment and just working hard and putting everything I had into it, man, to finally reach my goal was just the most incredible feeling ever. And as I approached the summit, I just, it just hit me, you know, and uh, I didn't have to hold it back anymore. You know, it was beautiful, man, seeing Matt up there, seeing Rod hike up there with me and my cousin and just all the other people up there as well that I didn't even know. We were just, you know, we did it, man. This was the tallest peak in the United States. And, um, you know, it was a real accomplishment. And for me personally, it was, it just was uh, just the culmination of all the hard work I did and exercising, my diet, my constant hiking. And I even took off time from work to train so I could make it up there last year. And uh, just to finally get up there, it was just, uh, it's just indescribable, man. That's why I made the video, so. I credit a lot of people for helping me get to the top of Mount Whitney. Uh, first and foremost, I think, was my brother Matt. Uh, he went sober six years ago and he just completely turned his life around. Started running and then he started ultra running and he's just a different person now. And seeing that transformation and watching him cross the finish line that night after 250 miles, I just... It just influenced me in a big way. You know, I was already trying to get in shape. I was already uh, working on my health, but after seeing that, I really wanted to push myself. I wanted to see what I could do. And uh, Mount Whitney was the obvious choice. He invited me to go. And if it wasn't for him, I would have never done this. I would have never even considered or thought about going to Mount Whitney. I didn't even know where Mount Whitney was. So thank you, Matt, for all your influence and just everything, man. And, there's so many other people that helped me out along the way. You know, my parents, my mom just was like, I call her my number one fan. And I know I have other people in my family that are also my number one fan, but I just talk to her the most. I send her photos when I reach the top of a peak, you know. I, she always wants to know when I get back from a hike or how I'm doing. And I just, my dad, he's been very positive towards all this as well. Thank you, dad, for, for everything, man. And um, my sister, Cindy, just... Everybody, man. Mark, Matt, Christina, Heather, <laughs> friends, Doug, Debbie, Monty, my stepdad. Everybody who has ever said anything positive or encouraged me, it all made a difference, you know? Um, people who just are like blown away by what I've done and, you know, and uh, just everybody. People on the trail that have commented to me and encouraged me to keep going on days where I didn't think I could. YouTube commenters, <clears throat> my subscribers. People on other channels, too, that have never even met me, you know, uh, whose experiences inspired me to do this, you know. Jim Lowe is a big one. Jim, you went with me, and, um, you know, if it wasn't for him, I'm, I don't think I would ever got into really getting out in the, like, backcountry and hiking great distances or backpacking. And then there's Rod from Rod Outdoors, who uh, we drove up pretty much together. We followed each other and uh, camped together, and just, I haven't known him very long, but I just... We have a lot in common, and I don't know, when you do a hike like that, something that's that hard, you just kind of, it's kind of a bond there, I think, man. All the people I hiked up with that day, I feel closer to than if I would have just met them at a party or a picnic or something, you know? I, you know, Tamir, uh, John, Bronco, these people I never even met before. We shared something, at least for me, that was huge, you know? I've never done anything like this before, and um it was an uh, honor to hike with you guys, and uh, and I'll never forget it. It's something I'll never forget, you know. I'm, you know, getting to be up there with my cousin, 
and it was really a special day, man. Thanks to Manny who found my camera on the trail after I dropped it and didn't realize it. I would have been devastated to lose this video. It would have, I, I don't even know. I would be, I can't even imagine not having that. So thank you, Manny, you are the man. I didn't think I was ready for Mount Whitney. I hadn't gone to the gym. I had done a lot of hiking, but I did some strenuous hikes a lot. I spent at least once a week at Mission Peak and I think that might have been the difference because Mission Peak's pretty steep. When I went up to Whitney this year, I just, I was surprised at how well I did. I really was. I just, I thought my training was going to be below the level that I needed and apparently it wasn't. I was also fortunate that the altitude didn't really affect me. That's a big part of it. You can be in the best shape of your life and uh, the altitude can still get you. This is probably the biggest thing I've ever done in my life. Definitely the hardest. And I definitely worked harder for this than anything I've ever done, by far. It feels great to have finally made it. It's uh, two years ago, I was hiking up thousand feet or so and being proud of it. Mount Whitney is 21.2 miles, 6,600 feet, and reaches an altitude of 14,508 feet. That's a pretty damn big jump from two years ago for me. So, hey man, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it and maybe it'll inspire somebody out there to get out there and push themselves and better themselves and just be the best person you can, you know? You only live once and uh, I'll be back out there. Thank you to everybody who helped me get here. It means a lot. I thought about you going up the last few miles and I just so grateful for it. Oh, one more thing. Go outside and play.